We have um, Mr. Osurigo Nunana. Can you just tell us um, much about this event we're having today? Okay, thank you. Toby. It is um, a rally organized by the Southeast Alliance for President Mohamed Buhari. It's organized by the coordinator of Southeast of Buhari, Rocha Sokorotawa, Ebu Governor. You can see for yourself, he's going to pledge our support for governor and for the president for his re-election come 2019. Because you remember in 2014, my governor was the only person that cried to the Southeasterners that the person that they need to support is Mahadev Bahari, but most people didn't believe him. But today, people are complaining that they are not carried along in the national politics, appointments and every other thing. But this man Rochas has come again to tell us today that 2019, all Southeasterners have to pledge their loyalty and support for President Mohamed Buhari for all he has done for the Southeasterners. Honestly, the Imo Cargo Airport, you can see what he's doing there. All the for our federal roads, the Second Niger Bridge, everything that the past administration never took serious with the Southeasterners. President Mohamed Buhari has shown faith, have taken it serious. So we believe that with the support of Southeasterners, by God's grace, come 2023. Well, we'll back to the East. You said in 2015, um, the South is and they didn't really vote for President Muhammad Dubai. So what should be expected in um, 2019? Yes, the 2015, most of us didn't go for Muhammad Dubai. In most states, we were the actual state that came out for Muhammad Dubai. The governor was moving around, telling people to kill. But you know, my brother, they didn't believe it. And this time around, 2019, I think the Southeasterners are ready to key in to the Mohammed Buhari second term bid. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. We welcome Comrade Mustafa Salihu, National Vice Chairman, APC, Northeast. We welcome Honorable Rafael Nanaibokwe. To this event, we appreciate Al Haji Sani Mohammed Musa, party stalwart from Niger State. We welcome the Chief of Staff to the National Chairman of our party, Grammatical Gwangwo, Right Honorable Patrick Obayabon. We welcome Al Haji Ada, Honorable Abbas Brema, to this event. National Auditor, National Working Committee members, your presence is highly acknowledged. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, let us bring for enjoyment pleasure. Musical, prime mover of our own time, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this great event, the one and only, Slow, Dog. Before the introduction of the artist, ladies and gentlemen, senior political players of sizes extraction from the various states of the Southeast are here to give you their respective speeches. May I have the honor and privilege to welcome distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Professor Ebo from Ebony State. Professor Ebo from Ebony State, National Publicity Secretary of this event. Your Excellencies, may I respectfully and humbly pledge your permission to stand on the protocol that is already in place. I welcome all our friends, our allies, from different parts of this country. It is a great privilege for us 
to be here to talk about our leader and our friend and our father, Muhammad Buhari. I will take just three minutes to tell you something very important. The problem we face here in the Southeast is that people believe that Muhammad Buhari hates the Igbo. This is a lie. It is a propaganda that has been cooked up to create this affection between this gentleman and we, the Igbo nation. Let me give you four major examples why Buhari loves the Igbo. In 2002, Muhammad Buhari invited one of the greatest sons of Igbo land, the late Ikemba of Newe Adumewu Ojuku, to his house in Daura. They spent three days together talking about the issues and events that shaped Nigeria. It was during that meeting that Buhari told Ojuku that he wants to run for the president in 2003, and he asked the Kemba to be his running mate. The Kemba respectfully declined, telling him that Nigerians are not yet ready to vote for two former generals. After that meeting, Buhari took Ojuku to the home of the late Saduana of Sokoto, Sir Ahmad Bello, who was assassinated in the January 1966 coup. Those of us who know about Nigeria's history know the relevance, the importance of the Saduana of Sokoto in the affairs of the Northern region and the Nigerian Republic. That reconciliation was effectively consummated. In 2003, Buhari came to the Southeast and picked our illustrious son, Sir Edwin Umezuoke, as his running mate. But we refused to vote for them. In 2007, Buhari came back and picked Chuba Okadibu as his running mate. Again, we refused to vote for them. For Buhari to continue coming and coming and coming, it means that he loves the Southeast. It means as he believes in the age-long tradition of Northeast cooperation, which was what formed the independence government in 1960. And during the Second Republic, there was also an alliance between the NPN and the MPP. So, in 2011, Buhari came back and told the Igbo people, I want a running mate here. They told him, sorry, sir, we are already in bed with Jonathan and the PDP. There is nothing we can do. That was why Buhari had to look elsewhere, and he went to the southwest and picked Tunde Bakari. After that, in 2015, he still came back. But none of us were willing to run with him. So I want to make it clear, and we will continue to say it and repeat it until the news permeates that Buhari is a friend of the Igbo. What is happening here today is an indication that the Igbo has woken up from sleep and is ready to do something new. At this juncture, may I respectfully and humbly say congratulations to the Southeast. Congratulations to the Igbo Buhari Alliance. The journey has just started. Thank you and God bless. <laughs>